And now I'm going to divide the types of seizures. The, this is on the, we're going to divide it. It's a part of physiological division. So we're going to divide different types of seizures. Okay. Seizures. And first of all, as I said, there are partial seizures. And there are generalized. Partial means that just a part of the cortex is seizing, okay? Just a small region or bigger, but not the whole hemisphere and hemispheres. Generalized means both hemispheres are Im impacted, okay? And still, partial seizures, you divide into simpler ones and into complex ones. And what is important over here, typically, they are recording. You can say in simple, it means they are awake and they know they're having a seizure. Okay. They are in a full contact in a way. So you could, you could write there oriented in most of the, yeah, oriented. Over here, they are only awake, depends. Awake, but they are not oriented. They are not recording that something happens around them. So for the time of the seizure, they don't know. They're totally out, okay? So only awake. Basically, their mind is turned off. And the same accounts with uh, these are unconscious, okay? So In terms of, uh, doesn't matter if they lose stone or not, does this depends, but they're again not recording. So they're, they're unconscious in that time and over here unconscious as well. So they're only awake they can they look but they they're not uh, aware of themselves them they're not aware these are aware okay yeah good and examples of simple partial seizures okay so it's simple partial seizure and basically what you should imagine you have a brain here yep this is a temporal lobe hemisphere okay yeah and basically let's say it's in the motory cortex so only this part of brain is seizing let's say it's a left left hemisphere so that means if it's a motoric seizure He's going to twitch with his hand or a leg, okay? So it's going to be one-sided motoric seizure, okay? Yeah? But he's going to be awake and aware. He's going to be able to record, and he knows that some, he's twitching, the, and he can describe it to, hey, doctor, uh, well, today, you know, I, I don't know, for, for two minutes, I, I was twitching my right hand, okay? Yeah? So, th and this is called simple motoric seizures or you can call it jacksonian jacksonian paroxysm okay so it's a jacksonian simple partial seizure and it's a motoric one in case they will describe they felt something it's a sensoric one okay and over here jackson was a doctor from london and he described it that on his wife, I think. So that's a simple partial seizure. But watch out. Simple partial seizure just depends where the seizure happens. If it's going to be in auditory cortex, as I said in the beginning, it's you're going to hear something. If it's going to be visual cortex, you're going to see something. Some You can see stars or whatever, cubes. It doesn't matter. Okay. If it's going to happen in the frontal cortex, well, now we're having a problem with the awareness. Because that's special, okay? That's a special situation because they, they can really be disoriented because of it. But it's a focal simple seizure, okay? Yeah? 
So basically, with a simple seizure, you should imagine that the problem is on the cortex somewhere. Yeah. So not deep, but rather superficially. Okay. So that's a simple partial seizure. Okay. And then you have a complex partial seizure. And this seizure, again, it's partial. Not the whole brain is seizing. But over here, you should think of deep structures, like a temporal lobe. And basically, you know what's there? Hippocampi. And with these complex partial seizures, typically they do not lose tone, postural tone. They don't lose a tone, but they are out. They are not aware. And basically for them, the time jumps in front. So now I say something, then I have a minute pause, and then I don't know what happened during this minute, and then I'm okay again. But they can jump in seconds and milliseconds. In case they jump in milliseconds, you won't know that. And they won't know that. Only thanks to EEG, you can find out that they're having a micro seizures. And typically with complex partial seizures, which are the most common one, remember these are the most common seizures you, you'll meet. And it's connected with hippocampus. And we'll talk about it a bit later. These complex partial seizures and typically medial temporal lobe epilepsy, that's the most common one. These have some special signs. SD, you call it oral automations. And remember that boy? He was like sort of moving with his mouth, but not the twitches. That was a simple partial seizure. The first boy was a simple partial seizure. But the second one, who was sort of not aware of himself and was like sort of chewing, the chewing automatism that's very typical. But sometimes they are able to trigger a something that they learn. Maybe they can undress themselves suddenly. So they can use a, let's say, something they learned, some process, you know, undressing or whatever, but they are not aware of, that they're doing it. Well, and the, the, the last one, there are more types, but... I'll tell you the main two ones and the generalized seizures means that the brain is seizing like all the cells of the brain are seizing. They're synchronized and they're shooting action potentials. And either you can have the grand mal as we saw. Grand mal. That was the woman. She had a tonic clonic seizure, classical one. But you can have only tonic seizures or clonic or atonic. Depends. Okay, also they can be totally flaccid. Or the other one, special types are absences or absent seizures. And in old uh, terminology, we're not supposed to say, but I will of course say it, petit mal. So, well, grand mal means like big, grand, a mal, bad, like malignant, mal. Petit mal, like just a bit bad, okay? And these are pretty common in children. And th that was the boy who was counting. And now suddenly, again, it looked very much like the partial seizure. Okay. But this one is primarily generalized. So suddenly all the cells start to burst at one time. I mean, all the cells of the CNS. And what is interesting, someone could ask you, they have a specific EEG sign, which is where the absence is. That's the most beautiful sign. It's it's a it's a uh, spike and a wave spike and a wave and basically just a small principle of the EEG remember there are many leads on the brain you put and if it's a primarily generalized seizures you immediately will see in in case of absence or grand mal you will see th these are different you know this could be occipital leads these could be temporal leads this could be frontal leads. And if it's primarily generalized, you will see at one point, if it's absency, it's a spike and a wave, spike and a wave, spike and a wave, spike and a wave. Okay. So it has this special frequency, three hertz. That's very special. In case it's, if it's a ground mal, if it's ground mal, ground mal, it's going to look like this. Yeah. At the same time, it started and will end at the same time in a way. But uh, important is the start. 
so those were primarily generalized. But you know what? You can either have only simple partial seizure, which stays simple, but sometimes, and in many cases from simple, it turns into a generalized seizures. And that is basically what the woman had, the, the one with the generalized seizure, because she could know, she knew. It started somewhere in her head. Maybe she self felt something. And she knew that in two minutes, it's going to be generalized seizures. Well, if it's a simple partial seizure, over here, if there, those are the leads, simple partial seizure, then typically it's, it's only at the, let's say this is parietal motoric cortex. So the other ones are fine leads. There's nothing happening. And only the seizure is seen on the leads that are above the, the seizing uh, focus, okay? If it stays uh, simple. But if it generalizes, then if it's going to be secondarily generalized, so you can say the simple partial seizure then got generalized suddenly in two minutes, three minutes, you will see that suddenly the seizure, it's like gradual, now the whole brain starts to cease. So this is a secondary generalization, okay? And the same can account with complex partial seizure. That complex partial seizure can become a tonic-clonic seizure, yeah, as well. And what do you call the sensation that tells you that you're going to have the generalized seizure? It's called aura. And funny thing is you can have the aura, you can account like simple partial seizure. That can be an aura that then you're going to have a generalized seizure. Or sometimes even the primarily generalized seizure, sometimes people have just uh, weird feeling or whatever and they call it aura as well so either it could be a focal seizure or it could be some gut feeling that they're going to have a seizure okay although the seizure is primarily generalized okay so remember simple partial seizure complex partial seizure this is cortex this is deeper structures like hippocampus temporal lobe and this is primarily generalized so so the whole both hemispheres are seizing and it could be primarily or this one in some cases will stay just partial and in some cases can be secondarily generalized or this one can be secondarily generalized and sometimes it can go like this and then jump into the generalized one yeah and uh, typically, with a simple partial seizure, for example, I'll, I'll put this one. So simple partial seizure, they are not losing a tone and they are aware of that. Okay, so they are recording, they know what happens and they are aware of time and they can tell you this happened or that happened. I was twitching with my and whatever. With complex partial seizures, typically they won't lose a tone. So they can stay standing, but they are just not recording. So they're not aware of themselves. And they have some automatisms that are going on. But when either simple or complex jump into generalized, secondary, they will lose a tone, fall down, and have a classical tonic, clonic seizure. That's the most common one. Yeah? Even if it's a, even if it's a petit mal as well? No, 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 no. Petit mal is something totally different. It's a different mechanism. And petit mal is a special type of generalized seizure. But over here, you won't have this secondary generalization. Over here, absence take as a special type of generalized seizure that just comes and goes. They are not losing tone, like postural tone, so they are not falling down. It looks very similar to the complex partial seizure, if, but the complex, they can go somewhere, walk, or over here they just stare and then uh, turn on again. With the absences, you can find it out. Typically, if, if this happens to a small child, and now if they start to, you know, ride on bicycles or something, suddenly the parents come to a doctor and say, hey, he's totally okay, he never felt, and now he's suddenly falling from a bicycle. And this only depends how long is the absence, if he loses the control uh, of the bike or not, okay? So if it's a millisecond absence, he can ride and it's fine. But if it's a, you know, second absence, then he's going to fall down. He loses the balance, okay? 
So this is very typical with absence. Take absences as totally special ones. And as I said, fortunately, it disappears during puberty. Some stay, but very rarely. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.